Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how to get started with uh, assembly language programming uh, using MSP430. So uh, I'll just go through this uh, with the help of Code Composer Studio. So let me just open it. Alright, so basically we'll let's create a new project. Alright, project, new CCS project. And it's going to be um, the one with empty assembly only project. All right, select this and let's put it as test ASM. So yeah, and this one, make sure you select the proper version. I have MSP430 G2553. So I'll just leave it like that. Yeah, finish. All right. So let me close the book okay so you can see here it has already generated a couple of codes to get started uh, we will not be go going through this except this one so this is the code that actually uh, resets your program uh, if you don't take care of that watchdog regularly which is called petting the dog for every uh, few millisecond or so uh, there's a very good reason for having it in which you can actually google it you know it's a very good reason all right so uh, we can see that main loop here so we'll be okay we will try to twinkle a LED alright uh, as usual we'll uh, try to deal with the LED red LED red LED is attached to port 1 and pin 0 so we are just going to move a couple of uh, bits here and there and that's it so first one is move since okay let me I'll go through this command so we are actually trying to move data the data is a, a byte data which means it's it has just 8 bits in it all right uh, since it's an immediate addressing mode I have this little uh, symbol here all right and since there is pin 0 pin 0 is uh, actually controlled by bit 0 I want to control the bit 0 and make it as 1 alright then I'm going to write this to p1 out oh no no first we will write that direction so what this command tells you is that we are writing 8 bits to the port 1 direction register and the value is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 which means the LSB that is a bit 0 we are assigning a value 1 which means we are saying that the port 1 pin 0 as output now we have to set the output as high so we'll move another byte same instruction p1 out and don't worry about this uh, symbol alright we will catch to that later okay so now if you see here uh, let me go through a bit now if you, s if you see here we don't have the uh, board connected so let me connect it all right LED is already blinking all right I mean it, it's already lit so what we will do is we'll just put this as zero and make sure we switch it off so let me debug it uh, okay uh, I'm just clicking this don't worry it will build automatically all right you see it's an error did you know why because of the spacing problem you see all these guys have written move dot w and all these commands here and we have written here so let me put a couple of tabs uh, this is kind of a texas instruments rule I mean those guys have created a couple of rules and if you you know ever get a sh take a look at them and these are the rules you have to put a proper spacing if you're writing in ASM never mind should work now you see yeah well finished without any red lines that's great that's great all right let's get started let me run it through each command 
Wow, did you see that? We have just switched off, uh, and now it's that's it. We have made it run through. We have switched it off. So let me turn it on again. All right, I'm putting it as one, and let me debug it. Mm, well finished. Come on, come on. Alright, so let me step it over again. Yeah, you got the LED now lit. So, now I'm going to show you how to uh, make it twinkle, alright? Uh, again, twinkle, we are not going to uh, 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 put any delay. Uh, we'll just see how to twinkle in using the debug style. So, to twinkle, I'm going to use Zor because uh, Zor binary. So what it actually does is it just uh, makes the bit zero to turn into one and you know its value to change to one and zero each time we run through it. Since we have to run through it each time, I'll create a jump instruction to uh, and create a label called twinkle. We have to put this label in li line 27 because we have to uh, go to Zorbi again and again and again to make things twinkle. So I will put twinkle here. I'm sorry. Alright. So let me debug it again. It's okay. Alright. Oh yeah, yeah, we got some error. Alright, I used wrong command. I'm sorry. It's it's jmp not jump all right let me debug it again okay so yeah now you see it's on jumping back you see that it's working the jump instruction is working it's all it's on now it's off now it's on now it's off on off yeah we have twinkled using what yeah i know it this is lame but yeah we have at least did something so that's how you get started with uh, the codes uh, assembly language codes in msp430 uh, well Alright, if you're wondering what it looks like to code using the C, you know, l let's let me show you. Let me sh uh, let me try and run the uh, CCS again. I'll create a C code similar uh, functionality. Yeah. Alright. So shrink it a little bit. Well, right. So let me create a. Let me close this and this. Uh, let me create a new project, new CCS project. Put it as uh, C test. Put it as ASM versus. Oh, uh, one second. Alright, ASMC test. Uh, Alright, so we are going to do it with. Uh, so let me hit finish. Mm. Alright. See here, we. Uh, this is the pre written code. So, if I'm going to do the same thing here, I, I'll be writing like P1. Yeah, is equal to 0 x 0 1 and now I'll create a while loop because we have put a jump there the equivalent to jump is while here and will be zor this is a symbol for zor okay uh, we are zoring uh, peon out wow I put O here it's Sorry guys. Uh, zero x zero one. All right. 
uh, you see we didn't put this semicolon here uh, that's not necessary maybe uh, alright a while represents jump here and you can pretty much make everything Zor B is actually this one and move B instruction is used here mm, pretty cool so let's hit run alright Seed. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. So I'm sorry. I have to cut terminate the debugging here. All right. So let me run once again. All right. Proceed. Okay. So let me. You see the LED now is not lit up no uh, it's okay oh we have switched it off on off on I you see ASM is much more similar to C uh, except the uh, syntax and the way we write things is pretty different it, I mean uh, what I'm trying to say is ASM to me looks more straightforward you know then uh, see uh, uh, I don't know that's what I think it's more straightforward yeah so if you're wondering how to do uh, the ASM coding in IER embedded workbench so let me show that to you okay let me just cut the debugging here oh, one second I'll just terminate this otherwise I uh, wouldn't be able to contact MSP 30 so we'll create a project create new project it's going to be a someone all right okay uh, ASM test save it like that all right uh, right yeah so what we got here is a couple of codes and this will make things to jump in there itself like there is no label you see here the label is a dollar sign which means jump to the same location same location here so it's going to keep jumping you see jump to current location so it will be jumping to the same location again and again and again uh, all right so I'll just remove this and let me write it like move dot b uh, we are trying to move pretty much the same command here p1 dir and zor b uh, <coughs> zero 01 p1 out Jump, twinkle. Uh, let me see if this is working. See, my spacing is terrible. Uh, uh, I'll just overwrite the previous file. Uh, now mind. Hmm. Yeah, we hit the error, I guess. Yeah, we hit the error. All right. <coughs> all right so it's showing error i don't know why uh, twinkle i've given the same label <laughs> seriously I don't know what's happening it just a second ago it didn't work and now it's all cranky and working okay I'll I'm seriously I want to mess up with the spacing so let me see now it's wow it's building it's not like CCS it does accept 
odd spacings i mean unusual spacings but i don't know why it didn't work previously uh, if you guys know please do mention in the comment below well so that's it guys so uh, let me go to options it's for msp 430f no i don't i have g series so g2553 then the debugger i go to fed debugger and fed debugger uh, the first one doesn't work for me okay i had to uh, actually work a couple of times so uh, so after uh, selecting all the stuff let me give it a hit download and run see what's happening hmm. all right uh let me execute one statement at a time and it is lit no it's not lit should it now yes lit no lit no yeah that was <laughs> pretty easy uh, so let me tell you something uh do not worry about this little symbols and these instructions for now because if you are get uh, just now you are getting started but still if you can't help worrying what you can do is <coughs> go to some browser and open msp430 family guide all right uh, you had to type msp430 family guide make sure that's the keyword Clamos probably click on the first link. Let it load. Wait for it. Yeah, there we go. So uh, yeah, you see instruction set. It's on page number fifty-six. Click it. Should get it there. There you go. We got all the different instructions here. You see, this is this is one of the instruction I used and another instruction i used then i used this little uh, symbol uh, uh, see here it means uh, some kind of addressing mode mm. so it should be here somewhere uh, let me scroll it up 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 register mode addressing mode Come on, yeah, there we go. We got it. Uh, that kind of addressing mode we used is immediate addressing mode. Uh, constant n is usually the actual data because we gave actually the uh, data zero one. So we use this symbol. Uh, this is just for the uh, compiler or whatever to know what's actually going on. You see, uh, so that's it, guys. That's how you get started with assembly uh, language programming and you can see how simple it is as a c program yeah until we start making big projects all right so uh, this is this is pretty much useful because uh, once you write a big piece of code in c and you see something is not going on and you want more tweaking to go to uh, to happen or to make uh, then that's where you use this assembly language uh, it comes very handy uh, we will see that how we see it is when we go for when we scale up the projects uh, that's it guys thanks for listening do let us know what you think about this video so 